Uh, moving on to Sonali's question, she says she's a senior uh, she's a senior HR person in a company, and right now she lives in Mumbai, but will soon be shifting to Bengaluru. Now she wants to purchase a flat somewhere near Electronic City in Bengaluru. She's okay with a budget of up to one crore rupees. This will be for residential purpose. One crore is a very good budget in Electronic City, right, Ashinder? Absolutely. Uh, it's a very good budget. Uh, she will get a lot of uh, options, you know, across uh, villas as well as apartments. Uh, and the best part, Kavita, is that, you know, you have all your Karate developers there, whether it is Purvankara, Prestige, Godrej. So, you know, you don't have to kind of second judge and figure out what kind of an, you know, property you really want to live in and or for investment and take it forward. Also, the opportunity for putting these properties on rent is also quite high in this area. So, overall, a great budget. She should get a great deal for this because you don't have so many, uh, you know, uh, prospects in this budget. And uh, she should uh, have enough options to take the best choice. Right, and look at the prices there. Electronic City Phase 1, uh, averaging around 4,160 rupees per square foot, up 9% in the last one year. A uh, phase two, of course, priced a little lower than that at 3,460 rupees per square foot, which is why we told you that one crore is a substantial budget for this particular market. Uh, but Ashwin, the two questions here. Would you recommend phase uh, electronic city phase one or phase two? And uh, which is the better market? Uh, you know, uh, also taking into consideration social infrastructure, etc. And connectivity, of course, which is a big, big uh, factor in Bengaluru. And the second question is, I know that your, uh, your company recently came out with a ranking of uh, which areas and which cities are safe for women. And that is, of course, very, very important, especially after what we saw happen, uh, happen in Bangalore on New Year's Eve. So how would you rank Electronic City in that regard? See, when you look at the safety index, you know, it's, it's, it's common sense that should prevail. When you look at Electronic City, you see most of the IT companies are there. And if you're working near your, if you're staying near your workplace, automatically the probability of being in a safer environment is, is much higher. And you have, you know, families staying there. You have, you have these gated communities, good developers around. So it is a safe place. Uh, uh, assuming that you're working in and around that area. So from that perspective, <clears throat> Bangalore still is comparatively a better place. And yes, there have been some shock waves and hopefully the administration is working around it and has worked around it and will ensure that those kind of lapses don't happen because that's completely, you know, something that is unacceptable. On the phase one, phase two, it entirely depends whether she's looking at ready to move in, whether she's looking at something which is under construction. Obviously, you know, if you are trying to invest, you might look at a good developer and take it early, which is not ready to move in because it's an investment. But if you're looking for an, uh, your, your own use, you know, maybe the first phase becomes better. Right. So uh, phase one is better if you're looking for ready to move in properties. Uh, and of course, like Ashwinder just pointed out, since this is surrounded by your IT offices and also uh, because there is uh, a, a huge presence of residential uh, complexes over there, Electronic City that way ranks quite high on that safety index uh, that Ashwinder's company brought out. You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magic bricks now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magic bricks now.